Okay, hello there everyone and welcome back to my channel. This time we're gonna react to the second part, uh, 5 to 1 of the scary videos from Nuke's top 5 top 10s videos. That's a hard thing to say, but before we do that, I would like to su subscribe to my channel, hit the like button and comment down below what you think and what you want me to do more and what I should react to. Uh, and uh, we jump uh, just uh, right in. <sighs> While you are sleeping, okay, it's three in the morning sleeping? in Erie, Pennsylvania, and Jorge Cruz and his family are all fast asleep in bed. Suddenly, their bedroom door slams shut. That's now, not Jorge is woken up do. by the sound, but doesn't think much of it and goes back to sleep. Yeah, but the next that's day, something he begins you should to do. wonder what could have caused the door to slam. He checks their baby monitor footage. Ah, they think the baby slammed the door. But I don't know how, but and they what think he so. finds makes his blood run cold. How can his blood run? It's a baby. Uh, is it gonna be a shadow going through to the baby and hunch over to look at the baby? Or is it gonna be a real human going? there but if it's going to be a real human i think the baby's going to walk up but i think it's a ghost coming through the bed and uh, um, hunch over to look at the baby i hear footsteps that oh ah uh. whoa and the baby didn't wake up that's a black shadow Uh, what I've heard, if it's a white uh, shadow, it's a friendly ghost or entity. If it's a black shadow, it's a dark entity. That's what I heard. Comment down below if it's right or if it's, I'm wrong. It moved the baby's teddy bear and threw it away. And hunch over the baby. Where did it go? <coughs> Loud banging can be heard before the bedroom yeah. door slams shut. I and heard a dark that. Dark shadow like figure can be seen creeping up the bottom yeah. of the baby's crib. And I think it was not a the child nice sleep. It was not the dark a nice mass seems to reach over toward the child, even moving around a stuffed animal. Yes. Then it simply disappears yes. into thin air. Where did Ray it go? says that he feels the entity might be a dark presence in his home. So did the family capture a paranormal entity on yes. camera? Yes. Let me know they did. what you think. A dark one. Sickum blue. A woman and her dog are seriously ah, doggy, freaked doggy. out when they notice a chair mysteriously rocking back and no, forth. No, I, I hate rocking chairs. Patio. I really hate rocking like chairs. You guys, it rocks. Yeah, I but hate that. It stops on its own when I come outside. Let's see if I can get it on. I, I really hate rocking chairs. Um, I cannot stand them. The, I am uh, every time I see a rocking chair, I'm gonna think and see that it's gonna move, and I hate that. On camera, there's like no wind. That's <gasps> the wind cannot do that. I know, boo, someone's there, huh? I know it. I the know. dog I sees the it does edit. That. It does it every time, you guys. This is the third time. I can't believe I caught it on camera. Yeah, Sick the dog blue. can see it and feel it, and Creepy. it's not a nice. Like... Maybe Katie, it's nice. I guess they do have a ghost, bitch. Get him, blue. I'm shutting the door. Little Shih Tzu Puppy Blue anxiously barks and growls at the chair as it continues to rock back and forth all on its own. Now, unfortunately, the original source of this video was lost through the internet, almost like it was erased entirely. But many curious viewers of the video believe Blue can see or sense something that we can't. Yes. The viewers wonder whether the chair belonged to someone who might have passed away. Yes. But without a source, whatever happened next, remains a mystery. I can see that. Peeker. Oh, not a TikTok peeker. user Celeste Castro from the city of Culiacan, Mexico is home alone at 1 a.m. when she hears strange sounds coming from her living room. No, not the peek. <laughs> oh. 
Ya. No mames, no sé qué hacer ya, no sé qué hacer. No, someone is opening a door. Hello. Someone there? Hello. No mames, güey, no mames, está abierta oh. la puta puerta. She didn't lock the door. <gasps> They took the wheels on the no hay nadie, no hay nadie, no hay nadie. Voy a cerrar la puerta y la voy a poner seguro porque la neta. No, it can't be someone inside. No hay nadie, no hay nadie, literal, no hay nadie en plebes. It doesn't really mean that it's uh, paranormal. It can be someone opened the door and went in. So it can be a real person. He's gonna record. So Don't scare me now. Okay, what did she see? What did she see? Did she capture something? Okay, let's see this. There was something falling down, and that's that. Something more. It was a peaker. Peekaboo? Yes. Oh Jesus! That was a really peak. Celeste gets the scare of a lifetime when she sees something peek out from behind her kitchen refrigerator. Yeah, that's a fridge. You cannot stand. Out of there. You cannot just stand there. Rest of the night at her cousin's house. To this day, yeah. Celeste claims that she has no idea what she captured on her phone that She's night. She's not been home since then. She says then. that nothing weird or out of the ordinary has happened at her house since then. But okay. is it real or is it all just an elaborate hoax? It can you be, decide. but she recorded on the A house with horrible history. Oh, that's Reddit good. user Octopus Funeral has been experiencing <laughs> terrifying funeral. paranormal activity in that's his home cool, in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Oh, Pennsylvania. So the backstory That's not on his house good. is that nearly a hundred years ago, in 1925, a man suffered an extreme nervous breakdown okay. and brutally ended the lives of his two young daughters before Why? ending his own life. Why do now, that? Almost a century later, Reddit user Octopus Funeral says he used to be a skeptic, but that all changed when he moved into this house. Okay. He says that strange, unexplained events begin to haunt his family. He says the paranormal encounters became more extreme and aggressive. Okay, comment down below. Are you skeptic or are you a believer? I am a believer. I believe in this. Thing with things. every passing day in the house. One day, he's in the basement doing laundry and yes. he feels that something is just kind of off. He takes out his phone and starts to record. What happens next is downright creepy. Okay, what is it? I was saying earlier, um, it's a basement. Stuff goes down here. Um, it's a saw. And, I mean, you can't really... There's, there's Something fell from the... That's freaky stuff right there. Yes. <sighs> Something more? Yes. Much more falling down. Okay. That's what you call. <sighs> What's more? That's more. And more and more falling down. And it's uh, and the door is closing. Yeah, yep, that's something. That's creepy. So that door always. <laughs> he just so say it's creepy and it's calm as. It uh, never close, like that. It's really calm. Up there, 
and it's open again. Reddit user Octopus Funeral says that the paranormal activity in the house freaked him out so much that he and his family eventually just moved out back oh. in 2017. Oh. He says that since then he didn't even want to think about that house. But only recently he decided to transfer this video from his old phone to share with the paranormal community on Reddit. So is this old house in Philadelphia haunted by the tragic spirits who lost their lives there? Maybe. You decide. I think tick so. Tick tock. No, oh, tick tock. Tick tock user Hevelista says he made the terrible mistake of fooling around with a Ouija board at his home in Germany. No. And, of course, it did not go well. Not the Ouija board again. What's that? Is that a clock? Open again. Ich kacke mir in die Hose fast. Wenn hier irgendwas in diesem Raum ist, dann mach diese Tür auf. Is it gonna open? Wenn hier irgendein Geist oder so drin ist und du mich hören kannst, dann mach diese Tür auf. Oh, and it's open. Yes, that uh, answered the question he has. There is someone in there or something, and it's moving. Uh, it's a clock. But it's. I don't know, maybe, but that's... Oh, I saw an orb. Or dust. Should it be that? Maybe. Nah. G okay, that, that's too much. That's too much. You shouldn't play with Ouija board. Never. You should never play with Ouija board. You got really hairy legs, man. Oh my god. Oh my god. A part two? This Ouija bot's gonna hear them. Yes. But don't put it out. Don't touch it. Don't do anything with that. Okay. My head's so awesome. My head's so awesome. Does something so awesome. have happen with the clock again? So you think it's the clock's fault? So you're gonna burn the clock and the Ouija board. The door of an antique clock hanging on the wall opens up by itself. After which the pendulum just drops right out of yeah. the clock's frame. TikTok user Hevelizda says that's about enough. And the very next day, he burns both the clock and the Ouija board. Yeah. But this begs the question, what would you do? Would you just burn it all? Let me know. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. And uh, I'm going to... A link uh, to Nuke's Top 5 in the description and uh, I'm gonna link this video if you want it without me commentating or anything like that and I'll see you in the next one later on